Dr. Marcia of Just Move Therapy here, and we're gonna talk. You need help explaining the alphabet soup of healthcare. PT, DPT, CSCS, DC, DO. What does it all mean? There's so many letters. How do we keep up? <sighs> Say less. I'm here. So, the first thing to understand is that the alphabet soup of healthcare can get confusing because any Joe Blow can take whatever random certification they want and add the letters of that certification to their name. That doesn't mean that they are a healthcare professional by itself. That's where it gets tricky. So as it pertains to physical therapists, PT is a physical therapist. You might see people with a PT comma DPT and that's because recently the program for physical therapy is a doctorate of physical therapy. However, anyone that hasn't done that when it was a master's or way back decades ago when it was a bachelor's would not be putting DPT. Sometimes you might see both. PT is licensed by the state. So you might also see PTA. What's the difference? That's a physical therapy assistant. So technically speaking, an assistant works under a physical therapy. A physical therapist, I mean, so they cannot work and own a clinic and run a clinic by themselves, S legally speaking, scope of practice speaking. Then we have chiropractors. Chiropractors are DCs, doctors of chiropractic. And they go to school, much like physical therapists, they get a bachelor's and then they go to the specialty school, the doctoral program. So there's also chiropractic assistants. Here's the difference, a chiropractic assistant does not go to school for anything, they just get trained on site by their chiropractor to help them in the clinic and their name is attached to the chiropractor they're working for. That's that. Then there's also ATCs, which are athletic trainers. They usually work under a physician. So all of these people you might encounter for various things when it comes to movement, movement disorders and recovery, but all these people are doing different things. When it comes to your physician, your medical doctor, that's MD, they go to med school. However, there's, in the US at least, there's two types of physicians. There's an MD, medical doctor, and there's DO, doctor of osteopathic medicine. They also go to med school, but the way that they program their curriculum is a little different. Now, as far as you're concerned, they are both doctors and can prescribe medications and order you x-rays or whatever, what have you. So you might see an orthopedist, which is like a joint specialist, and they could be an MD or a DO. So you, or you might see a physiatrist, which is a rehab medicine doctor, and they might be an MD or a DO. Gets confusing, I know. Where it gets even more confusing is when it comes to personal trainers because some personal trainers will put PT for personal trainer. You might also see all of those jumbles together and more letters after it. One common letter you might see are CSCS, which is a separate certification you can take to become a strength and conditioning specialist. When it comes to physical therapies, you might see OCS or letters like that, and a physical therapist can get an extra specialization and certification in orthopedics, like OCS, in neurology, geriatrics, things like that. There's a couple of them that might explain those letters. There's so many alphabet soups. But then at the same time, if somebody's a certified yoga teacher, then you, then you might see CYT, which I have by my name. So if you are absolutely unsure of what the letters in the alphabet soup means behind someone's name, feel free to number one, ask, or number two, just Google it. When you see the jumble letters, just Google it. Type it right into Google, medical abbreviation, see what pops up. At the end of the day, every medical license will correspond to the state licensing board. So whoever you see their name, and it's the internet, that might not be their government name. Whatever their government on paper name is will be on file with the state and 
searchable. That information is open to the public. So you could look up my name and find me on the Florida Department of Health site and see that I'm an active physical therapist. You won't find that I'm a certified yoga teacher because that's not something that is licensed by the state. Make sense? If these types of videos are helpful for you, number one, thumbs up. Number two, comment, this was great, thank you, can you tell me about, insert idea there. All right, y'all. Have a wonderful time. Hope that helps. I'm out.